Okay, um, hello traders. So in this video, I'm going to talk about inducement and liquidity and how you can actually trade it as a smart money trader. So now the very first thing you want to do is to actually observe the schematic of what an inducement looks like. So invariably, you're going to be seeing things on your chart that looks like this. You're going to be seeing schematic that looks like this. Charts, an uptrend. I will break our structure, right? To the upside, isn't it? No, this is what the typical schematic would look like. But most early traders or newbie traders, instead of waiting for price to reverse to the downside, like so, they would rather want to take their entries from this zone. All right, they would rather want to take their entries from this premium zone. Now, by doing that, it simply means you're not buying at a fair price. Automatically, you, are, you always want to buy when the price is low and anticipate a move to the upside so you make profit, right? Good. Now, this is what an inducement looks like. An inducement is most of the time presented on your chart to induce traders going into a trade that they ought not to, therefore creating liquidity. Now, liquidity on the other end is your pool of stop loss. Anywhere retail traders place their stop loss, we have liquidity there. Now, liquidity is going to be resting below here. It's going to be resting above here because a lot of persons will be placing their stop losses there. Liquidity will also be resting here. Liquidity will also be resting here. Liquidity will be resting somewhere around here. And so on and so forth. Right? And so on and so forth. So basically, that's the way it works. Now, inducement on the other end is when you begin to see something like this on your chart. You begin to see something like this. You begin to see something like this. You begin to see something like this. You begin to see a range after a break of structure. You begin to see a range like this. Now, this range is inducing traders into going into, into going in, into into going into a trade, or rather, inducing traders by going into a trade, right? Now, newbie traders will see this as a support or resistance, and they will start trading within this range. And do you know what price is going to do? Price is going to come down, sweep all their stop losses that they put here, and mitigate this other block here. Going to mitigate this other block, right? We're going to mitigate this other block here. Now, here's the other block. Now, what this means is that buyers who were actually trading and buying at this level, they've been induced into going into this trade and putting their stop loss here. So, invariably, they will be swept out. And the market is going to do its thing. At the end of the day, price will go up. At the end of the day, price will go up. Right? So, basically, this is the concept of inducement. So, all of these things here, we see this range bound. You, the first, first things first, you don't want to see a range after a break of structure. Don't expect that when you see a range like this, price is going to go up. No, it's going to come down because it needs more liquidity to push price to the upside. You get what I'm saying now? So basically, that's what it is. No, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you a um, typical example for what we're doing. Let's use 
Um, let me see, let me see, let me see. Let's use, let's use, um, let's use this as an example. I think this is, this is sand USD. Let's use this as an example. You can see after the break of structure here, yeah? after this break of structure, That is BOS. We had price move towards the upside from here, like so, and began to range. This is what we don't want to see. We don't want to see a range after a break of structure. We don't want to see a range. If the market ranges after a break of structure, just know it is going to collect liquidity from this other block, the extreme other block somewhere around here. So our other block is going to be somewhere around here, which is the weekly time frame. All right, this is a weekly time frame. So basically, this is where our other block is going to reside. We're going to have an other block here that caused this big move to the upside. And if you use your Fibonacci and take it from here, swing low to swing high, you will find out that. Currently, this is below discount. So if you're on spot trading, you can start buying as, as it is now. You can do your DCA and all of that and buy up to this level, 0 0.786 level, this level here, right? So that's the best thing you can do. So basically, this is inducement and how it creates liquidity. Inducement creates liquidity for the market to move, right? liquidity so after the break of structure you don't want to see a range when you see a range here there's no price wants to come down collect more orders from here push towards the upside all right so basically that's just the way these things work all right so um so yeah that's it for inducement and liquidity in the next video i'm going to do um a live demo showing how I take some trades for myself and all of that. All right. Cheers, one love.